What I take away from this is uh, we definitely need a more self-confident, uh, a more self-reliant, a stronger Europe. We need more, not less Europe. And I said that uh, a month uh, away from the Brexit decision. So I hope somebody listens in London. I think the world uh, wants to see the 500 million people uh, assembled in the European Union to speak with one voice. That would make things easier. We do it in trade, uh, quite successfully so, as, as was said here earlier today. And that's a very important point. We should do it in foreign policy. Uh, I've long been a supporter of the idea uh, that not everybody likes, that we should even consider voting um, you know, on the basis of, of majority decision making, qualified majority voting in foreign policy. Uh, when you look through the long list of decisions that uh, were taken over the years, I didn't find a single one where, had we voted on the basis of qualified majority voting, Germany would have been in a position where we would have had to say, oh gee, that's not we want it, uh, what we wanted, and we can't really go along with this. It would have never happened. So why not make Europe stronger? Why not strengthen our capacity to speak with one voice? This is a unique forum. Very often uh, I sit in, in discussion forums, in, 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 in conferences, where it's only you know, people from parliaments and governments amongst themselves. But bringing in the expertise of people who have actually, actually done research about the issue, who have uh, uh, gotten down into the facts, uh, that helps. And I think we should also have more of that uh, in order to make Europe stronger.